Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Got a special mail call today. So, a little backstory on this uh, this mail call. I got a message, an email, and it came from the Shade Tree Fix It Man. But he said that uh, he had a 172nd scale F8J Crusader model that he's been meaning to build for a while. He knew that I have built uh, Navy aircraft in the past, and he contacted me and he asked me, would I consider building the kit for him? And of course I told him yes, absolutely. I mean, it would be my honor to uh, to build a kit. He was in VF-191, Satan's Kittens. Um, he was a plane captain on this particular F-8. And I'm going to drop a couple of photos into this video that he sent me. So the one where he was on the side of the airplane, that was he's actually a plane captain um, back in his younger days. And uh, he was responsible for launching, recovering, doing all the turnaround inspections, fueling, servicing. Basically the overall uh, cleanliness, care, and health of the aircraft was his responsibility. I was a plane captain once as well in an A7 squadron, so I know exactly what he was doing. And uh, I mean, it's, it's not a job to be taken lightheartedly, that's for sure. So. Uh, anyway, when he gave me the opportunity to uh, to say, yeah, you know, I, I would love to build this. I mean, it's an honor for me to do that, uh, honestly, uh, just to uh, to honor his his service in in the Navy and to our country. So anyway, um, the Shade Tree Fix It Man. I'm going to leave a link in the video description so you guys can go over and check him out if you're not already uh, established or, or subscribed to his channel. So he told me, he says, well, you know, I'm I'm going to I'm gonna make this deal worthwhile for you. He decided that uh, he wanted to send me a couple things with the package. Inside this bag, it said 53 Ford pickup truck. And uh, it looks like a frame. Uh, I can see what appears to be a hood, a firewall, um, maybe the interior tub, 53 Ford uh, pickup truck. And this is an AMT construction sheet too. And honestly, this looks like a very old kit. Uh, that that right there looks like that might be the cab and the uh, the front fenders of possibly a 53 Ford. Here's a bed, and this actually looks like yeah, it looks like the same kind of plastic as as the truck body. So so there. Um, it's like I've got just about a full truck body there and uh, oh hey cool this is this is neat so got a shop card so hopefully you guys can see that and it says shade tree fix it man uh, and it's got the YouTube logo um, really, really cool looking looking card right there very cool thank you so much for the shop card I'll definitely uh, be sure to send you one back a couple of boxes here AMT 1932 Ford, uh, the switchers, and it actually says Ertl on the box, so you know that was a while back if uh, if Ertl was still associated with AMT. Now, he also sent me, and, and you could tell by looking at this box, this box is quite old, um, AMT Corporation, uh, yeah, 34 Ford pickup says it is the trophy series so this is the kit that he wants me to build and it is a uh, Aratali F8 Crusader um, now he told me that the F8 that he worked on was the J model uh, it says that this is an E model which there's not a whole lot of difference externally between the, the E and the J. I know that the J had uh, had wet stations where they could put pylons on the wings and actually carry fuel tanks. 
um, which the E could not. So, like I said, a lot of the a lot of the changes between the E and the J were internal. So, anyway, it should be easy to build and make it look like a J. Uh, and of course, on the back, this one here on the bottom, it has decals for VF-191, Satan's Kittens, and that was the squadron in which he was in. Now, I don't know if this is the correct uh, Buno number for the aircraft that he was plane captain on, so I'm going to try and get that information and see if I can't build it as accurate as possible for him. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a quick look at it while I got you guys here. I'm sure you're probably wanting to see it as much as I am. This is an old kit. Um, excuse me. 172nd scale Italy. Okay, I called it Air Italy, but uh, anyway, it's an Italian kit. How is that? Um, and it's never been opened. So this is the first time that this kit has seen the light of day. Well, not exactly light of day, but... Okay, so I have, I have the clear canopy here. Uh, we have the main wing. Check this out. This thing right here, I don't know if you can see it over here next to my finger. That's the ejection seat. Man, that thing is tiny. Anyway, uh, here's the other part of the wing. Uh, looks like, okay, and here's the canopy, or the uh, the cockpit right here, this, this little bitty piece. This is the instrument panel. I don't know how much detail I'll get on that with it being as small as it is. But uh, anyway, as you can see, there's a wing section here. There's the exhaust, um, looks like flaps. So I might be able to position the flaps up or down, which is kind of cool. Uh, these look like uh, some landing gear doors and sidewinder missile rails. These decals actually look real nice. Um, for as old as this kit is, like I said, these decals look real nice. And I'm probably going to scan these also, just in case I have problems with them, um, that I might be able to uh, use those, uh, reprint them and use them if I have to. Here's the, whoops, here's the nose of the airplane. All right, and this is the fuselage of the aircraft. Um, I do not see an intake, intake trunk anywhere. What they're saying is the intake trunk. Um, it looks like there is not much of an intake inside an intake trunk. Uh, in, inside the model here and that's one thing that, that I really kind of hate about um, doing some of these models is you don't have an intake trunk uh, to speak of so it doesn't look very realistic when you look down the intake. 172nd scale made in Italy. The print on this is so tiny I would have to get out my, uh, my magnifying glasses to see it. But uh, it looks like a really nice instruction sheet for the most part. So anyway, um, so there you have it. Uh, not only am I doing a finish it February build, uh, which I've done a video on that already. That is my uh, F3, uh, what did I do with that? That's down here, my F3 D2 Sky Knight. So I've got finish it February for that. And now for the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, I've got a F8J Crusader that I'm going to be building as a tribute to his service in the Navy with VF-191 Satan's Kittens. I'll try to keep you guys updated and posted on uh, progression, how things go. So with that, I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Take care. God bless each and every one of you. And remember... Pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.